All right, in this video, we're gonna learn how to create a new event and see what it looks like on our site. So when you log in to your, your website, this will be your dashboard. Um, this is where you track everything that goes on in your site. Um, and so we're gonna come over here to this menu and we're gonna select events. And when this loads, it's gonna show us a list of all the events we have. We just have one in place so far. We wanna create a new event, so we gotta add new event. And this brings up a page where you put in everything you want to know, want to, people to know about the event. We're just going to call this uh, Mark's Big Event. And so your title goes right here. Anything you want to um, say about the event, like the event description, it'll go right here. And you can go on telling about whatever you want to pretty much. Um, right here on the event type categories, you have different um, different categories for the kind of events you want. For you, there's uh, like traveling events up here and then home-based events down here. And uh, so you select one of these, we'll just say traveling. Um, scroll down a little bit more and then you have the event details. You can put in a subtitle if you want to. Um, we're not going to do that for this one. And right here, you, you can select uh, the dates. So we're going to say this big event is going to be on July 11th at 9 a.m. There we go. And then uh, the event end date, we're going to say, is going to be on Sunday morning at you know, 10 a.m. Um, if you want, you can hide the end time from the calendar. Uh, I usually do that for conference conferences and stuff like that. Uh, and then scroll down a little bit more. You can select this as a repeating event. I usually put repeating events just beside the calendar. There's no reason to put really weekly services on, um, on the calendar. Uh, like this, you just log in and you see our right, weekly events, Tuesdays at 7.45. Um, but you can do it if you want. Then you scroll down a little more, location and venue. So the name of the place, the uh, address. Um, I have a, pl a place already saved, so instead of typing it in, if it's a place you've been before, you can just select uh, the venue right there. You scroll it down a little more. We'll say Mark Casto Ministries as the organizer. You don't have to select uh, an organizer, but you can if you want to. Um, and then that's uh, that's pretty much all you really need to know to set up the event itself. Another thing you can do is you if you have an event graphic, you can select the featured image. We're just going to pick uh, an image from one that's already in your media library. So, you know, that looks like a cool event. We'll use that as the featured image. And that'll show in the event details. And then once you've selected all that, you can go up and publish this. And when you publish it, it'll put it automatically into where your events are. Let me just refresh this page, and it should come up in a moment. And see, there's Mark's big event right there. And uh, here's the event, event details, event description. People can subscribe to these events. There's your featured image that you set. There's the time. Location is uh, at the place. Organizer. And then people can also share these events right here. Now, if you're using Eventbrite for anything, you can go back to where the event is. And this is going to look weird at the end of it, but it's pretty simple um, once you do it maybe once or twice. We'll go up here to this little uh, little pink symbol to insert a button. And these are all the things you can put in this, in this area. We're just going to select a button. And don't worry about any of this. It's all set up to do right. Uh, here's the text you want to say. So you can say event registration, right? And then you just put in the, um, the Eventbrite page. I don't have a specific one, but it'll link to whatever wherever your thing is. Uh, so you put in the link right there, scroll down, hit submit, and it's going to put this ugly thing called a short code into the event description. Don't worry about that. You'll see what it looks like in a moment. You hit update. Every time you make a change, make sure you hit update right here. It's going to change and make sure it uh, fixes it on the site. So let's refresh this events page again. And so when it comes up, these both of these events are going to be here, but this time when I expand the details for Mark's big event, there should be 
an event registration button right there. So you click on that and it takes you to the link that uh, it's set to take you to. I just set it to Eventbrite. So uh, we have created a new event and we've added uh, a button to take you to a link for the, for the event itself.